what is up welcome to my channel you guys before we even dive into this video it's gonna be about drama but my personal drama and this is gonna be me and another youtuber who allegedly edits videos for rich lux and the situation got crazy bottom line you guys i just want to talk about it with y'all i did end up blocking this person completely from my channel so they cannot get on my channel and see the things that i'm doing and the things that i'm posting and this is for the best because they give me weird vibes like they would try to use stuff against me or i don't know we're just let's dive into the video i recently made a video titled my harsh opinion about rich locks where i i played some clips y'all just go check it out and it was his friends or his old friends talking about their experience and their relationship with him and why the friendships ended and ultimately it was because rich locks just seemed to be a better person so i hopped on there and i gave my opinion about it and i always say my hot shit take because you're not always going to agree with the things that i say and that's totally fine a lot of my subscribers are subscribed to rich locks so i knew there was going to be a bit of a rift there but i did still want to give my thoughts and opinions about it anyways i made this video and i uploaded it and not even not even 15 20 minutes of it being live i ended up getting a comment talking about hey i edit for rich Lux and i'm sending you a cease and desist for using footage from my documentary and i was like a documentary because the only footage i used was from dustin daly it's me vanessa da and it's personal they're personal people so they just kind of sit down in front of their camera and talk to you guys they don't really sit there and edit crazy so i knew they didn't have like editors i knew they were just more so sitting down talking and the only other clip i used was of rich Lux during his my apology video so it Right there, I was kind of thinking, this isn't a documentary. I don't know what footage I did use from you. And if I did use footage, it's fair use because it's public domain. I'm just commentating on it. The whole situation kind of blew out of control. He said he's going to send me a cease and desist. And I'm not going to be mentioning any names for legal reasons. This is going to be completely private. So I went ahead and deleted that video because when I was threatened with a cease and desist, it did scare the shit out of me because I'm a very small channel, you guys. I don't have YouTube money to just let's get a lawyer you know what I mean like so it really did scare me I'm really doing this for fun right now and it's not because of income or anything y'all to be honest I barely get paid for the content that I'm making right now and so I just want to clear that up I'm doing this for fun so I don't want I don't want backlash or harsh harsh situations I'm just doing this because it's fun I like to entertain you guys and I like to talk to y'all in the comments but this person took it so deep to say hey I don't like your opinion about rich locks basically so I'm gonna send you a cease and desist because you have to take down the video Anyway, I ended up making a video talking about Rich Lux's editor wants to sue me. I can't really remember the title of the video, but it was. Go check it out. It's on my channel. You'll find it. After I uploaded that video and I said multiple times throughout that entire video, I want to keep it private. I don't want to give out this. It was a smaller YouTuber than me. So I was like, I don't want to give them to put their name out there. You know what I mean? Because I don't want them to get backlash. If they did something positive, I might be like, hey, go check out their channel because like, positivity but no because it was negative i didn't even want them to one get the time of day for me and two to get a shout out because i really don't want you guys or anybody who watches that video to send hate to any party involved even if they did threaten me they ended up commenting on my video and i'm not going to be pulling up these screenshots because again i want to keep their name completely private and some of y'all did see the messages so i don't even want to like pull that up for some of y'all to be like hey i have a big brain power and i remember the name exactly so i don't want to do that so i'm just going to leave it there they did a comment on my video and I talked to them for a minute. I said, hey, this is completely fair use. Even though you don't like my opinion, there's really not much you can do about it. And he was like, eh, just in a bad mood about it. So it was what it was. And I just, I panicked because I'm, I don't want any legal issues, you guys. I'm a very small channel, like I said. And I didn't know who to talk to. Who do I talk to who does YouTube and understands what this even is or how it works? I reached out to Dustin Daly, love him to death. And I was like, maybe if I comment on his video, like he might see it and reply to me say what it is and he did end up replying to me and said look as he's in desist can't do anything if, if it's fair use it's fair use and thank you so much for putting my mind at ease like dustin daily like i love you anyways after getting a little bit of sugar added to my like salty situation i was like you know what it is fair use i'm just gonna go ahead and, and go ahead and re-upload that video and i'm just gonna roll with it because i know i'm not doing anything wrong i'm just giving my opinion some people may not like it but that's okay so i went ahead and just re-uploaded the video this person ended up emailing me. I do have my email in my, um, what's it called? Like the bio of my channel and it's for business inquiry only. So if you guys want to have clips that you want me to react to or like something you want to say or need to say to me, like feel you're more than welcome to go ahead and email me, you guys. But this person ended up emailing me. I was a little bit nervous because, I mean, I believe like the saying like, oh, I fear nobody but God. But at the same time, you guys, 
I was fearful because I don't know what this person is capable of. That really it frightened me. The fact that he knows Rich Lux and edits for him. I was just kind of like, this is toxic. Like the whole situation because Rich Lux is toxic. All the people he hangs out with is toxic. So I just like automatically chalked him up to be toxic. And again, the main issue that he had with my video was kind of my opinion. He thought I was being very harsh about Rich Lux and I wasn't giving him a chance and oh he's a good person so you guys basically he just didn't like my opinion and it was what it was he ended up emailing me and I'm gonna be reading these emails but again I'm not gonna be saying anybody's name I'm not gonna be including them you know in the video or nothing it's just gonna be me talking to you guys this person did apologize for you know the situation that had occurred over on YouTube but I felt like it was kind of a falsish apology but I do take it serious at the same time like I really appreciate the fact that they did take the time out of their day to reach out and apologize to me but then the events that unfolded shortly after I was like <laughs> hold on Some people do communicate differently so before I read these emails I do want to let you keep that in mind that sometimes I'll say things you guys are kind of like mm, why are you saying it like that and I'm just kind of like sorry like, like that's how I describe stuff even though like we get to the same point some people speak differently and sometimes it can come across wrong when they don't mean to be wrong so with that being said just take this like i guess however you want to take it i don't know but let's just dive into this email and again i am not going to be giving their name so yes this is legal to do i'm not giving their name or anything these emails can be like from literally anybody out there so we're going to say this email is from literally anybody out there anyways i got an email that said hi revoke would love to connect with you and somehow talk about what happened and where we stand on youtube would also like to talk about who my edit for and more. I saw you were working on a documentary also, and if you need any information, I may be able to help as I currently do not have any current or pending NDAs with any of the people whom I work with. If you would like to exchange numbers, then we can, or we can strictly chat by email. Best regards. <laughs> While I do think it was sweet to take the time to reach out and apologize, I had like very iffy vibes about this. Just because the first thing that did happen was I was threatened by them. So if you get threatened by somebody, then they email you, they're like, hey, best regards. I'm kind of giving Jeffree Star vibes where it's like, hey, I want well for you. Then behind closed doors, like, I hope they fucking fail. <laughs> That's just my vibe. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and read you guys the email that I had sent back to that. I ended up replying to them and I said, I am sorry for the issue that we had over on YouTube end the script real quick because this is not a part of the script but I do want to say like I was sorry for the issue because anytime I post a video I don't sit down and say I want to cause hatred and animosity that's never like the goal of my videos you guys so I did reach out back to him and I said I am sorry for the issue that we had over on YouTube as a editor and videographer you should understand use copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes purposes such as criticism comment news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a copyright principle based on the belief that the public is entitled to freely use portions of copyrighted materials for purposes of commentary and criticism. I understand you have your own channel and edit for YouTubers, and I'm proud of you as an individual for chasing your dreams if this is your dream slash passion for content creation and editing slash videography. I did slightly... Feel attacked, or I did feel slightly attacked by you online as I feel we have two polar opinions about a creator, which is what I feel stemmed the cease and desist. I felt threatened by that statement, and I wish to keep any relationship or conversation strictly business as my email is for business inquiry only. I wish you the best with your channel and content creation, but because of the way the conversation first went between us, I'd like no further contact. I create content strictly for my fun and my free time with the entertainment and educational goal and to share my opinion about certain topics with my audience and others alike. I'm sure you would have a great advice on editing, videographing, but no thank you. I am content with the way I produce my content. Have an amazing day slash night. I wish you the absolute best in this journey. I put like a little heart, <laughs> like the little dash in the three. I said no hard feelings, their name. I said, I just don't think we can communicate after that incident. I do not feel comfortable communicating past this email, but have a blessed night and e or have a blessed evening with peace and love. If this person would have responded to this and said, yeah, like, I totally get it. I totally understand. Like, you do you. I really don't care. I don't like, OK, like, have a blessed night again. But when this person responded to me, I kind of was like, I did the absolute right thing by telling them I want no further contact. And 
this is why. So when they replied to me, they said revoke. And again, <laughs> now they're like revoke. And the first one was hi revoke. And now they're just like revoke. So I was like, oh shit, like they're getting serious. But they said, I completely understand how you feel. I acted in the moment without thinking as I should have taken the matter into consideration beforehand, which I did not. As far as editing, your editing is fine. I was not talking about giving you editing advice. He said, I was literally talking about giving you insider advice. I work with the likes of Jeffree Star, Rich Lux, Eugenia Cooney, Shane Dawson, and more. That in, that also includes myself knowing inside information on what really happened between Rich Lux and Dustin Daly and Nick Snyder. There was way more to the conversation than met the public eye. Seeing that you w- would like no further communication with myself, I will take this information elsewhere. I understand the fair use policies as well. However, your video was portrayed more in a way that seemed like an attack, not criticism, which felt like an attack on my work and my money. However, I recited my decision to take any actions as you were swift to respond and set things straight. I wish you and your channel the best moving forward. Best regards. Oh my God, I said the name. I'm a total dumbass. <laughs> like, thank God for editing. This is why I'm never going to do a live. I'm so sorry. Anyways, I just, I found this very last email very interesting. I understand the first one, like, just wanting to reach out to have, like, that little closure or whatever. So I I totally get that first conversation. But just saying, I work with these high up people and I have inside knowledge and no NDA and you don't want to talk to me. It's like, (laughs) he was pissed off because I was criticizing somebody that he works for. And then he's going to turn around and say, but I have insider knowledge. Like, you don't want that. Person really said, seeing you had no further contact with me, I'm taking all my knowledge elsewhere. Sir, you didn't have to be here in the first place. I'm serious. Everything I did was under fair use, and I am very confident of that now that I went back and went back and went back. And guys, I like researched this and I already know the community guidelines, but I went back like seven times and I checked it that day and I watched my video like 20 times, and that was uncomfortable because I never watched my videos back. But y'all, I was a thousand percent in the fair use domain, and the fact that this person was pissed off my opinion and threatened me with a cease and desist and then went on to say like but I have insider knowledge and like I can share it it's like I'm sorry but I'm just a really small channel and I just want to do this organically and if it's not already public like unless they've already said it themselves and it wasn't already captured on a stream I don't want to get into that I feel like that's messy I honestly had anxiety like in my stomach all day today. Oh, I have anxiety already. So this person like didn't just like come in and give it to me randomly. I already have anxiety, but this like made me sick after I drink a coffee because I was like, nice. Like my anxiety is like skyrocketed now. I honestly, I feel like I low key had a conversation with like an asshole of a person. And I don't want to say that, but I just feel like the intention behind that last email with, well, I did have insider knowledge, but I'm just going to go elsewhere. I was just kind of like, sir, never, not everything is about attention, clickbait, views, likes, follows. It's not about that. And I in no way want to be rich Lux or any of the people that you edit for. I truly do not. So I don't know. (laughs) The whole vibe I was getting from that conversation was, I feel like, you know how, like, sometimes, like, there'd be, like, singers or something, and they come out really normal, then it's, like, they change, and they start throwing up, like, weird shit, and people's like, oh my god, the Illuminati got them. Like, I feel the Illuminati approached me, bro. (laughs) I'm not saying he was the Illuminati by any means, but I just said that to kind of give you guys a vibe that I was feeling. Like, I was kind of, like, very uncomfortable. The conversation, I'm not gonna lie, like, it did freak me out, but I'm more bummed than anything now, because I feel like damn if this is the age of narcissistic youtubers bro i'm never gonna have a friend who does content creation i just don't feel it like it's crazy i just feel like everybody nowadays they just have like twisted bones in their body and it's just it's not for me i like love and light and like peace and happiness and i mean these people they work for each other and they're friends and they turn on each other and it's like who can you really trust you know I pray to God this person doesn't watch this video and then go to the comment section and, like, expose themselves because if you do that and expose yourself, then you did that to yourself. Because this video is legal, they threatened legal action already, but here we are again, I'm probably going to get threatened legal action again. But at the end of the day, you guys, it's legal. I'm allowed to sit here and talk my opinion and my thoughts, and I can read DMs and everything as long as I don't say who it is. So here we are at the end of the day. You know what's, like, pretty scary too and I think about this sometimes is you never really know who the YouTubers are like you come across some channels are bigger they're smaller and 
you know, you just see the content for face value and you just kind of think, oh, it's just, you know, a normal person. And nine times out of ten, they're like narcissistic or psycho or threatens legal action. <laughs> and it just goes to show you, you never really know, like, who you're dealing with. Talking to y'all has been, like, my therapy. Because I always watch this type of, these type of videos, like, anyways, like, the Eugenia Cooney updates and, like, all this stuff I watch in my free time. And being able to sit down and, like, get my opinions to y'all has been, like, freaking therapy. So I wanted to, like, give myself a free therapy session and come on here and talk to you guys about the situation because I really want to hear y'all's thoughts. I feel like I'm going crazy. I am worried. I'm waiting for, like, a fucking man to walk up to me while I'm in the middle of Walmart and serve me with some court papers i don't know what to do <laughs> i don't want to cry like in my bathtub but at the end of the day everything i'm doing is fair use and legal so i just really hope that this person understands that and i really hope that they don't comment on my video again and expose themselves even though i did end up blocking them they still somehow made their way back to my channel and found my email and that's fine <laughs> but anyways with this being said let me know what you guys think about this little like story time slash fear session in the comments let me know if you guys want me to get on here and talk like more with you guys about just everyday situations I'm going through or like just little chit chats with you guys. I'd like to do this more often, but only if you guys like want to see that kind of content because I know you guys like originally followed me for these updates and stuff, but I don't know. It's up to y'all. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in my next video, which is going to be a regular update episode.